Hello, uh, Jim Howard here. Today is December 23rd, 2010, and this is going to be a video blog entry for today. Uh, uh, my blog. I uh, commented on the news story on my blog about, well, remember last week or so they had a, I forget what state it was, I think it was Virginia. I'm not sure. A um, man on death row that they were going to put to death, and they had a shortage of the one of the I don't hate to call it medication, one of the ingredients. Well, it was a medication, <clears throat> but uh, they didn't have what they needed, so they used a pharmaceutical product that is used to. Uh, Put animals away to kill animals. They used that on him. I thought that was really strange to be out of that. Uh, and then I saw today on CNN today uh, shortage of medicine kills some U.S. patients, and there is a shortage of 150 crucial medications here in the United States. Unbelievable. So anyway, I commented on it on about on my blog and. Uh, I, I just you know I don't understand how we how that can happen. Um, it would seem you know they're licensed to pharmaceutical corporations. Now the pharma, the pharmaceutical corporations are making billions of dollars. They're making money. They've been making money. They always make money. They will you know. And how they can have a shortage of these? You know they're licensed. Of course they've spent billions of dollars to not be licensed and to uh, weaken the FDA. Uh, they spend billions of dollars advertising new medications. And how they can not have these medications, I, I don't understand it. Since they're licensed and they, they are regulated, but I don't think they're probably regulated the way they should be. I mean, how can you be out of 150 of them? Uh, I mean, it seems like that that uh, there would be regulations about having some, you know, available at all. You know, uh, I don't want to say a stockpile because then, you know, I'm, medications get old. But still, I mean, there should be something really messed up here. Uh, and people are actually dying from not being able to, you know, they, they, there's 150 medications. It's like, you know. Um, I uh, ordered the other day a Hoss, I don't think this is the correct pronunciation, Hossapon. It's their, uh, the 1200 Win TV HVR 850. And it's a USB device that plugs into the computer and it lets you watch television on your computer and it will also record and uh, you can have it in small windows and do all kinds of things. I've had at least two of their PCI devices in the past, maybe three, and the, and the reason for that is I, I would get one in and then uh, later on sell it or give it away, and then I decided I wanted another one. This will be the first USB one I've had from them, but uh, I'm sure it works just like the PCI ones, and the so I'm familiar with the software and everything. And so, now I don't have, if you, if you have cable television, you could hook cable into it, and get that on your computer monitor screen. Uh, I, but it comes with an antenna for digital over the air broadcast. So that I don't have cable here, so that's what I'll be doing. So it's going to be uh, interesting to uh, have that back again. I'll do a review on it when I when I get it. Um, the other thing is, I bet you never heard of Fred Foy, F O Y. I, the name didn't mean anything to me, but uh, he was the voice of the announcer for the Lone Ranger uh, radio show. Lone and television show. Anyway, uh, he was the announcer, and that's 
really, I mean, I remember that as a, I'm going to be 70 in March. I remember listening to the Lone Ranger and hearing that announcer uh, when I was a kid before there was television. And then I remember watching it when it came to television. Anyway, he passed away uh, at age 89. That uh, the audio that you just heard is from a YouTube video, so uh, I guess I'll put the link. So if you want to, it's only uh, 31 seconds, but if you want to see the video, I'll put the link also. I commented on my blog about uh, bad news. Woke up the other morning and and uh, a few days ago I woke up and they had a CNN story about uh, cancer causing chemicals in 31 of 35 water supplies, city water supplies that were tested here in the United States. And uh, then a day or two ago, or a day after that, or whatever, I woke up and CNN had a story that Al Qaeda had was thinking about poisoning our food supply, or whatever. So I commented on my blog about that. I also on my showmeblog.com, I uh, I noticed a link that uh, I check the links, something you know, that how people found my blog, and I saw one came from uh, a French site and uh, so I went to the site it was in French but you know you have the thing at the top there do you want to translate it translated English and it came out okay and uh, on my blog here when I blogged about it, I put at last I get some respect but it comes from the French uh, through Greek T H U G R E E K dot com is a French blog and they have an article. What was the first blog on the web? And they picked me. And they even have my video there. Uh, they said on their site it's uh, always easier to plan ahead when you know its history. Therefore, it may be interesting to know what was the first blog and the first blogger ever kn known the web. The oldest blog seems to be that of Jim Howard. The Howard's Notebook was a BBS read bulletin board system launched in June of 1982. The site approached the best of what is commonly called blog, called today blog, in which he shared moments of everyday life and links linked to other BBSs. And uh, then they put the video. So. I also blogged on my blog that my uh, grandson washed his coat a day or two ago and he left an iPod in the pocket. iPods are not machine wa washing machine uh, washable. Another death I commented about uh, Barney Miller, the t television show about the 12th precinct in uh, New York City. I loved that show. I thought it was just great. And uh, Steve Landenberg passed away, and he was Detective Arthur Dietrich. And I think of all the people on that show, I think he was probably my favorite. I remember some great episodes. Uh, it says, um, best known for his role as a cerebral detective on the TV sitcom Barney Miller he has died of cancer his agent said he was 65 years old and uh, I also like 30 Rock on television and Tracy Morgan underwent a kidney transplant and I remember some of the shows I guess I made the reason they've uh, he has diabetes and they've talked about it's a funny episode having to do with diabetes and uh, so now and anyway he's had a kidney transplant. I don't know who the other person was. They said somebody else on the show has also had a kidney transplant. I don't know if you can hear that or not. My scroll thing on my mouse is a not a new key, uh, not a new mouse. It's one of the uh, I pulled it out because it was wireless. I was having some trouble with it. 
But anyway. What else? Oh, FCC uh, vote on neutrality. Wow. Um, I was surprised. There was quite a, there was some tech people and everything that said that they didn't like the FCC uh, taking that vote on net neutrality. I thought all oh, the tech people would. Um, I'm a left-wing liberal and proud of it. There's a very popular right-wing blog here in the United States that's, uh, like I said, right-wing conservative. Oh, man, you would not believe. I wish I should have. Uh, I guess I, could, I don't want to pull it pull it up. I'll bring this thing to a closer pretty quick. Maybe you would not believe. Maybe I can. Let me pull it up here. You would not believe redstate.com the the way they put it on there. On their, and they do other things that way too. Let's see. Anti-union Attack on Barack Obama. Attack on the United Auto Workers. Here it is, I think. No, this is not the. It must be another one. Let's see. This is an attack on net neutrality, but. Let's see, it must have another entry here. Yeah, okay, well, that's all on the front page. I have to go back. But, I mean, the language they used uh, was just really incendiary and uh, vicious. And, I mean, uh, it's so, you know, socialist, communist, uh, the, you know, the Democratic FCC. Uh, I just can't even, I can't even come up with the extremism that they used so far to the extreme. Uh... I mean, just really wild. So, so let me bring this to a close. Only twelve minutes. That's a record for me. So, I mean, a record for being sh uh, short. It takes me usually ten minutes to tell you what my name is. So, in case I don't make any more videos before Christmas, this is the twenty-third. I want to wish everyone a uh, very merry Christmas or happy Hanukkah or. Whatever you celebrate, I hope you celebrate something, and I hope you have a uh, very nice holiday with your family if possible. Merry Christmas, everybody.